All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. So, continuing on. Last time we finished up the final assault quest. We have one more, I think, main story quest. And the hour yeah. has arrived, Vistage. The final confrontation with the god of schemes is at hand. The five companions gather at the harbor. Alrighty, let's go to the harborage. Where is the shrine? I believe this is the last main story quest. Hold on, let's pick up some alchemy materials before we go. Those are important. Alright, so Harborage, Stone Falls, this place. Hello. Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plane meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal and reclaim your soul. You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. No doubt the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side, but his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. So, there are a few different choices you can make. Um... The game is five years old at this point. Honestly, I'm just gonna like more or less spoil it. You have to pick one of them and stuff happens. I've picked the other two in my other choices. So we're gonna get like a new, it's not really ending, but I guess different dialogue, I guess. The ending is gonna be the same no matter what you pick, but you just pick a different person, they say a few things, that's about it. I'll never get used to this place. The time is at hand. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. You're ready. This is it. The beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not wait. Can you do what is necessary no matter the cost? No matter how much it grieves you, there is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? Oh.
it just went backwards. All right, really got to talk to him again. There is always a choice. All right. We are going to rush right through this. This is actually really cool. This must be where Moloch Baal torments those who displease him. It's kind of, if this reminds me of any dungeon, it'd be Vaults of Madness. Delusions of godhood. The soul got precisely fool. what he deserved. Future generations will pay for your Are you insane? That worm didn't deserve your mercy. Why do I get the feeling? You wanna see what happens? This? I don't actually Bob remember Bob if that here. made a difference if you I saved him or not. That was probably the last time we see him regardless. It was more just like good or bad do you how do you feel kind of thing. There. That place shall serve us well. Let us assemble and prepare the ritual. What does it matter? We can't wait any longer. We must perform the ritual. Vestige, it is time for you to make your decision. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? Yes, this will be close. No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world, yet they will never hear a single word of thanks. A funny thing for a selfish man to say, isn't it? I'd better be careful not to learn anything from this. I've no idea. Speak to them. Yes, this no one is. We've already been over the amulet of. I already know who I'm gonna choose, but now. Remember, vestige. We fight for our very little. There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Position I chose the other two in my other playthroughs, so if you want to watch those. Basically, the we'll same. Never forget you, sire. Or your sacrifice. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, forgive me for my hubris. Grant your divine power to the vestige and restore your protection to Tamriel, that my sacrifice might not be in vain. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the Amulet of Kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. Pepe hands. 
Vestige, now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. Wow. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go! Man, if only that was a skill in the actual game. That'd be pretty cool. It's almost like the Templar Jesus beam, but except cooler. Your continued meddling has reached an end. Hero of Tamriel. Kinda wanna see how far I can what just this run without killing anything. Has tiny mortal mind snapped? Do you really think you can dip the dark the machinations of oblivion? Are far more complex than anything your mortal senses can comprehend. Uh oh, gotta kill oh. Move to flank! Eye frames, easy. Uh -oh, I think I chose the wrong one. Man, the eye frames are real there. Smashed. Oh, good. Get out. You actually, right here, is like they give you a buff and you just do a stupid amount of damage. Something that normal person should never be able to do. I am God of Oblivion. You are less than nothing. Trinket can't defeat me. I am Molag Bar, Lord of Domination. I remember reading on the forums years ago, people thought this fight was actually difficult. What is this, infant? Do you think you're talking? I was out of that, God. but all right. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has I been riven from Stonefire's beam. You guys ever played the game Dishonored? Kind of reminds me of that ending. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the mundus. The moment your world is spent. My grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflict. That's like the equivalent of staring at the sun. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plane meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. 
You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have Must been fulfilled. Be nice. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this? I wonder grand what kind of buff it makes you. Boss, I it makes your damage go up. Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion. And the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. Neat. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. Elder Scrolls Online 2 confirmed. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came. The place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it. Though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nirn has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world, but your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. Oh, you mean so like all the other thousands of players too? Gotcha. I have no more desire to keep... Basically, what would happen four years ago, or like three or something like that, is you chose a faction. Nowadays, it doesn't matter what faction you do. You can do anything you want. But before they had the, uh, I forgot what patch it was, but everything used to be like faction based. And like, so for example, if you chose Ebonheart, I think you have to do Daggerfall and then the Dominion in that order. But nowadays you can just kind of do like whatever, whatever you want. So it's like Cadwell, Silver and Gold. Happened. Nowadays, how did we get here? I, I don't even know why it's still. I remember being game, overwhelmed. But, yeah. But then I. Right. Sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Snow Lily, I. I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait. Where is Thorn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with it. Can you still go back into the, uh... Harborage after? I don't remember. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us, we've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. 
I think it's time for us to go. Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him and help them rebuild. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well, I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. So, this is where our roads diverge. For a time, there is much to rebuild there, and I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well, maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. To what end? No, let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. But perhaps, once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt, I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually, I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. I would like that. It has been a singular honor vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Baron would be proud of you. I know we are. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? You ran into Lady Meridian. Hold on. Got to level up, Surge. I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman. Charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout. Asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Could be happy. Smashing. Truly. You know, that Varen fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. And he did put things right in the end, didn't he? He's still with you, you know, a part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just Yay, one Yay, we beat it. Left. Five years later. Where is soul magic? What does this even do? Burn an enemy from within inside the soul fire, dealing about 58,000 damage over five seconds. That sounds like a lot, but... It's an ultimate one, and things. Ugh, I don't know. They need a buff. It's that. you over here, quickly! I've got something exciting. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, this is where he gives you a cat little silver, and if we went up against overwhelming I can't odds, say I really care too much. Still itching for more adventure? Smashing! Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the meat. Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of... Basically, what it used to be, I just mentioned it, but you would normally have to do, like, your faction first and then another one. Now, it's kind of like playing through Daggerfall, but pretty much have gotten everything discovered at this point. And if you do want to watch the entire main story, just go find it on my channel. I have literally thousands of ESO videos. So, yep. back we beat the main story we got two skill points that's good i think you do get some more for other quests in the area but 
can't say I care that much. I've gotten all the points we needed. What is this actually? We this got a staff or something prayerful. The Emperor's Blessing. Oblivion's Foe set. Your Soul Trap ability gains a thousand weapon and spell damage. Consuming Trap is actually good now, but it's not good enough that I would use the staff. So you know what I, you know how I feel about this. Rip. It's gone. We got 600 gold out of it. Well, basically the Mastic, I think, is about 600 gold. Yeah. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed ESO, um, feel free to recommend some more stuff. I do run dungeon trials generally play the game and so if you guys want to see more stuff let me know what you want to see uh other videos and stuff would continue as usual so i will see you guys later